Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Welcome to a very cold morning here in Passau, Bavaria, Germany. I have two ID3 here. This is mine and this is a press car from Volkswagen. This is the first edition plus. It has a 62 kilowatt hour battery, 58 kilowatt hours can be used. And this is a pure, it has a 55 kilowatt hour battery and 45 kilowatt hours can be used. And you might think, huh, way less range but way lighter it should be uh, good in some things but it's almost the same weight according to EV database it's only 30 kilograms difference just one battery module because again seven kilowatt hours less battery gross capacity but more than 13 kilowatt hours less usable for driving hmm we're gonna drive in a minute, but first I want to go through a few differences that the cars have. First, and, and, and important in this case, is that this car was built a year ago and this not too long ago. So I would say one or two months ago in this last year in, I don't know, June, maybe even earlier. <coughs> so to see if there has been a lot of changes, and there has been a lot of changes. And important is, I don't know about those changes, if this is uh, something that Volkswagen, you know, improved or if my car is a freak or this car is a freak also when it comes to driving um, i don't know if the motor is different because this has both have rear wheel drive this has 204 horsepower this is 150 horsepower it's the performance model both so you can even get 110 horsepower i think um, so I don't know if this is a different motor or just software restricted. So when it comes to, to differences when we drive. Of course with a different battery you get different range. 420 kilometers WLTP range, 330 kilometers WLTP range. And of course different charging. AC, this car charges with 11 kilowatt, this with 7 kilowatt. And DC, this car charges with 100 kilowatt and surprise, this car, I've seen 115, I think it can charge with 120 kilowatt because this is a newer car uh, that already uh, has an update on there so it can charge with 120 kilowatt. The old ID3s, even with the middle battery, will get 120 kilowatt also, but I don't know when yet and how. One thing I noticed right away in the new Pure is that the seat heater is warmer it feels warmer and what it does that my car doesn't do like in mercedes it it has it it goes on full power when you set it to to the three level three after 10 15 minutes it goes down one level automatically and my car doesn't do that so let's drive the id3 pure a bit and i talk to you how it feels like and then I compare it to my ID3 with the bigger battery. Since it's only 30 kilograms less, I don't feel any difference <laughs> when it comes to cornering, suspension, um, stuff like this. It's really as comfortable and amazing as my ID3. I love it. The same as the steering, it feels exactly the same. The same, um, you don't need a lot of power to steer and it uh, adjusts to your speed that you're doing and it does that really well. It's very stable. I don't feel any difference then to my car when it comes to handling. Acceleration is a different thing. <laughs> this car has 50 horsepower less and you feel it. It's still accel accelerating good, 150 horsepower for a 1700 kilo car, but it's, it's not the same. You feel, I don't know, it's, for me it's not enough, I'm sorry, but I can see that for other people it's totally fine, but for me even my car is, yeah, it could be a bit more. A few things that are different than to my car, and it also has to do with the tires. My car has the 19 inch Andoya rims um, uh, tires, and this car has the 20 inch from the first edition uh, Max. And those tires 
are way more bumpy. So uh, yes, of course, on a normal road, when you're going up and down, there's no difference. But if there's a step or something, it's, it's louder and more uncomfortable. Ugh, not, not good. The 20 inch wheels suck. <laughs> What I noticed to the difference to my car is that the accelerator pedal it, it reacts the same when you when you when you drive but when you start driving so when you're on a standstill and then you accelerate it comes in smoother but this could be because of the power curve of the motor or maybe they changed it also the brake feel is better in this car my car always goes from regen to if you have to brake strong from regen to braking in a weird way this one does it better so maybe mine my car is a free car and the last thing is this when you're on a hill and you go off the off the brake my car rolls back five to ten centimeters this car doesn't do that i like that better <laughs> could be that my motor is being used too much but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye